Hello, and uh, welcome to episode zero of the Final Fantasy Tactics pseudo-randomizer. This is basically just for anyone who wants to know the technical side of exactly how I'm going to do this. Um, that way I don't have to explain it when we start our first episode, you know what I'm saying? So, instead, I'm going to go over it now. So, the way this is going to happen, obviously I have a save file already just for these testing purposes to make sure everything's going to work. Um, we're going to be starting from the beginning, of course, at Orban Monastery when we actually start playing. But this is just to show you uh, what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, let me let me first talk about uh, exactly how the codes work, okay? So, there are uh, codes that are attached to the character's numbers, which is the name, the number next to their name, right? One, two, three, four, right? So, um, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the long line code for that number character... And then at the end, to change their, their base job, right? And then at the end of that are two X's where digit, digits goes, like any any game chart code, right? So what I have done, and I will show it to you, just so you can see. Let me ex extend it here a little bit. So those numbers right there are the digits, okay, that go in the X spots for that character's line of code, right? What this does is it changes the base job of that character. In other words, it changes Squire to whatever they end up being. These digits are, uh, I had to go through and find the ones in the list that are glitches and don't work or are monsters, right? So I had to get rid of those. And I had to get rid of other ones that were like duplicates of characters so that we only have one chance to get uh, one character. We'll never end up with multiples, okay? So, that being said, these are all the digits that can happen. Now, the way that I'm going to randomize this is with a hexadecimal digit uh, randomizer, like I did for Sakoden 2 and like I did for Breath of Fire 3 Super Randomizer. So, let me go ahead and bring that up here. Actually, let me just bring it up on here just to show you, okay? Okay, so here we are, right here. This is a hexadecimal digit randomizer, right? So. What we want is two digits, because that's what we're looking for. We need uh, the X and X, right, for both numbers. And then uh, I usually do five results, just in case I get some ones that don't work, uh, that I've removed from the, the list of the notepad. So all we do is two digits, how many results? Five, generate hex. So the first one that came up is CF. That means what we will do is we go back to our list of random numbers and there's nothing that starts with C that we can use. Uh, beyond the 30s in this list uh, does not work. Uh, so no D, uh, no A. Uh, 31, however, let's take a look. So I've got 2D to 2E, 31, 32 to 33 is the only one there. So there is no 31 that can be used. Neither is there an AD. So what we do is we generate again. So now we got 61, that's not gonna be in there. 82, 54, one B. Let's take a look. Uh, yes, one B is in here. So now that we've done that, as you can see, one B exists here in this list, which means it can be used. What we are going to, I'd probably rather than, ooh, I dropped my controller, dudes. I already got it out of the way. That means I won't drop it in the run. <laughs> So, what I really should have done in this is put down not the ones that were available that work. I should have put down the ones that I know won't work, because it's easier to see at a glance. But, 1B exists in here. Therefore, what we are going to do, let me exit out of here, get rid of that. What I'll do is I will take uh, our first character. We're not going to do the Ramza one. I will explain in a moment how we're going to randomize Ramza, but I'm going to show you... Uh, Yeager here first, okay? So he is our second character in the slot. So what I will do is I need to go to cheats, or I'm sorry, uh, tool, cheat code converter. So my cheat code is going to be, let me make sure that I get the line of code here, 3005 and then uh, this is for the second character. O, O, and then 1, B, right? So what we'll do is we'll convert that, and there you have it. It's already changed. So 
that changes it instantly. So now what we have is, once we get out of here and go back in, there you go. So the sprites on the uh, formation page are going to be different. Like they're not always going to reflect what the character looks like in battle. They will look like the sprite they're supposed to look like in battle, I promise. So, what we got, and we got one of the worst ones, despite how cool he is, uh, Elmdor. So, his job at base is Arknight. So if we change him into Arknight, there you have it. Now, he's got Sword Spirit. That skill is actually glitched, um, and it does not work in this game. So, probably what I'm going to end up doing is taking... Uh, Elmdor out of the list. I didn't even consider that. I forgot that Sword Spirit is basically supposed to be exactly like Draw Out, but it does not work in this game at all. Uh, it never does. Um, but basically that's how we're going to do it. So that just changed his job into Arknight, right? So that is what he is for the game. Now, once we go through and randomize all of these characters um, and find out who they are, and what they end up with. What I'm going to do is reset the game and start, or well, reset the game to a time before I uh, purchase these characters or got these characters. And I'm going to purchase new soldiers so that I can make sure that their names are correct for who we randomized into and their genders are correct for who we randomized into. So uh, that's how we're going to do that. Now, for Ramza, the thing that's interesting about him is that he the game will not allow us to continue if he's any character but Ramza, and he's got to be the Ramza of that time. So what's going to happen is we are going to randomize. Let's just go ahead and do it. Just just to just to do it, okay? So let me uh, let me do our hexadecimal randomizer again. Okay, and here we are. So two digits. Five results generate 08. So let's take a look at what 08 is. Okay, we can use 08. So what we're gonna do, again, we'll go to our cheat code converter. Uh, 3005 7F74. That is Ramza's position. And we will change it to 08. Convert. Okay, how about that shit? Man, that'd be awesome if this were an actual run. Uh, well, really it wouldn't be because it's on our Ramza. But anyway, so that changes his base job. Well, it should have. Anyway, oh, I see what happened. Got it. So if we change him to a chemist and then change him back. Now his base job is Arknight. Again, if he has any character but Ramza, uh, it will not work for him going through the game. So we have Destroy Sword. So what we will do for Ramza is switch him to a chemist, right? And then we will give him the ability on his second slot, Destroy Sword, right? So now what we will have to do is go to our cheat converter. Now I need to find the digit for Ramza first, which is 01. So we will do the exact same code again. 3005 7F74 00, and then we do a one. So, we convert, and now he is back to being Ramza, every bit of Ramza that he can be, and when we change his job back to Squire, because we went ahead and put the Destroy Sword ability on his second slot, he retains it. So, uh, that being said, um, the, the Destroy, also the Destroy Sword stuff, um, most of these things are have a full list like it's not something that's going to go away um, if we run into a technical issue there with that somehow we will fix it but uh, yeah so that's how we're going to do Ramza Ramza is just going to whatever he randoms into we put that ability of that character on his second slot and then switch him back to Ramza so destroy sword would be really cool to have the only problem with destroy sword is and uh, I mean I'll get into it real quick uh, it costs MP to do those things. They're okay. They're okay skills, but uh, they're basically just super night break skills, um, and they cost a lot of MP. So in the early part of the game, you're probably not going to get to use them very much uh, until you get to Dorter and you can buy uh, 
linen robes. That's like the first mage robe that you can really get that helps with MP. Regardless of that, that's getting into technical stuff that we're not going to talk about. So, uh, basically that's how we're going to do this. And what we're also going to do is this is going to be for the first chapter, right? These characters that we randomize into whatever they're supposed to be. And then for the second chapter, we'll re-randomize them. Totally. So, yeah. Going to be pretty cool. So chances are, actually, since that's what I'm going to be doing, uh, what will actually happen is I'm not going to name the characters what they're supposed to be. Um, I'll probably come up with some other naming scheme because they're going to change characters between chapters, right? Or um, what I could do is just change their class and do what we just did with Ramza, right? And give them a second skill. It's like they got a, a new... Uh, a new level into uh, it, they just it got a feat like in uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons or something um, but I don't know I haven't decided yet that's something we're going to have to decide on the fly I think um, whether or not we should just keep the same character sprites throughout or I can come up with a naming scheme that's just whatever they end up being it, it's not going to matter uh, I think that's probably what I'll do I don't know I'm having an internal debate right now I should have been prepared for this uh scenario but regardless of that um there you have it that's how we're going to be doing this so and yes all of the sprites work correctly when you're in battle even though on the screen it's going to look like there's a lot of ramzas there's a lot of weird like bald tata can pop up you know but uh yeah so i don't know when i'm going to start this run uh it is getting warmer outside therefore my workout routine is back to normal um, so I'm going to be focusing on that a lot, and plus the, the new collection of short stories is coming out, so I'm working on promoting that, just like I did with Brass Curtain, and, um, you know, just, just working on revisions and rewrites and stuff like that. So, uh, there are some obstacles to me starting this, but I hope to start it fairly soon. Uh, so... Thanks, everybody, for checking this out. And uh, also, I'm glad everybody likes the banner. I like the banner, too. It's really cool. Uh, so, uh, either way, thanks you all for watching, and I'll see you next time for the first episode of the Final Fantasy Tactics Pseudo-Randomizer. Peace.